Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 16, verse 10, and I will read it. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much, and he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also uh, in much. This is a verse that really uh, speaks to one's faithfulness, what has been entrusted to that person. And it comes at the end of this parable about the um, unjust steward and where the steward has basically mismanaged um, what has been entrusted to him. And his master calls him in and says, give an account uh, for I have heard uh, a bad report about you. And so basically what he's doing is giving the, this uh, steward notice that he's about to put him out on the street. And so he thinks to himself, he said, now wait, if I'm put out, I'm just, I don't, I'm too proud to beg and I, I don't want to dig. And so what I'll do is go around to the people that owe my master money and I will win favor with them. And what he goes, he finds somebody that owes his master a uh, hundred measures of oil. He said, take the ledger and write down 80 for yourself or write down 50, I think it is, write down 50. And then he comes to another that owes him a hundred measures of wheat. He said, take it and write 80. And so his master, uh, finds out what he's done and he commends him for acting shrewdly so that when he is put out, when he loses his job, then he would have favor. But notice this is just a temporary condition compared to what you would receive in eternity. And Jesus, it's a hard parable to really to interpret because it appears that Jesus commends the steward uh, for um, changing the business leisure. But that's not what Jesus is doing. He's not commending him because remember, Jesus calls this man, the steward, unjust. And what he done, he had, he did was not right, but it was unjust. But what Jesus is noting here is that how effective the man was in applying or using the resources that had been entrusted to him. And basically, Jesus is saying that if only we who are believers would use righteous principles uh, in managing uh, the resources and using the resources that has been entrusted to us by God, uh, it would be to our benefit. And it would be, it would show an indication of how we can be entrusted both in this life and that which is to come, how we could take, be an asset for God and take on greater responsibility, both in this life and that which is to come. And so notice that it is our how we use our money, how we use the resources that have been entrusted to us. It really is an indication of our heart condition, whether we want to store up things for ourselves or whether we want to use them to expand the kingdom of God. So we should take the resources that we have as stewards of God and use those resources uh, to invest in the gospel, to invest in kingdom building. Whether that is through re uh, different organizations that help to train and prepare preachers and teachers to go out, to help missionaries to go out, uh, to help uh, people that are impoverished and then point them to, to Christ. Whatever it is that, you know, a means of spreading the gospel that we should invest in those things that help to expand the kingdom of God. If we can be entrusted in the least of these things, then we can be entrusted with greater responsibility and be a greater asset for the Lord, both in this life and that which is to come. Glory be to God for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a wonderful, wonderful day and that you would take a look at this verse, meditate on it, and that you would apply it to yourself. Amen.